All right, guys, Roaring Fire just introduced their 21 in 6 survival kit. And so we have a really nice container that has a lot of survival supplies, and we also have a little first aid kit. Now we're going to go through and show you all the contents of the kit, and then we're going to do a later video testing out all the products. Uh, first thing you'll notice is that it has a little tool here, and there's a flathead screwdriver. Uh, you can use this to open up the kit. Uh, it is a little tough. We're going to do both methods to kind of show you. But you notice right here, there are actually four different points that it closes on. And so you get your fingers under those little tabs, you can pull it. But the tool is made just to pop it, make it a little easier. Now we open up the kit. Now again, we have a number of items in here. We're going to go ahead and pull them all out and set them out where you can see them. You have foam inside to protect all of your items. You have a rubber gasket that goes around. And again, you have four connection points. So this should be waterproof. The box is 8 inches long. Uh, it's about 4.7 inches wide. And it's about 2.5 inches thick. Very compact. And first we have a Mylar blanket. Uh, this is a space blanket. These are very important to keep and retain your body heat. Uh, you can wrap up with these. They're very thin, but it's really large. Next we have the Roaring Fire Knife. It is a flipper. Comes out really well. Have a little bit of a serration right here, and we have a drop point blade. Uh, it is liner lock. And then we do have a little clip. We have a seat belt cutter, and we have a little carbide tip right here in case you need to break glass really smooth and it does have the Roaring Fire logo right here on the blade. Next we have an adjustable paracord bracelet. Uh, we have a uh, fast tech catch right here but we also have a fire steel and a little striker. We have a compass. We have a whistle and it is again fully adjustable and you have this little adjustable piece right here. Just press. You can pull that out wherever you want to. And so this in itself makes a great survival option. And the paracord can be used as cordage uh, for a lot of different things. Next, we have the Roaring Fire flashlight. This is a pin light. has the Roaring Fire logo. Nice little clip. You have a tail cap switch. And it uh, gives you really decent light. And it's all aluminum body with a hard anodized finish. And this does give off 120 lumens. Uh, it takes a AAA battery that is not included, but very easy to find. Next we have the tactical pin. Uh, what I like about these, you can carry these about anywhere. Uh, then you can just turn it. You have a, a ballpoint pen on the end. This is refillable. But yet you can use this as a self-defense tool. And right here on the end you have a little bit of a tip. Uh, you're able to grab it, put your thumb here. And this makes a great non-lethal option, but yet if you're in the dark and you need something, you've got it. Has a nice pocket clip. Very textured all the way through. Next we have a fire steel and we have a striker. This also has a ruler right here. And all you do is take it, it's got a really nice grab handle. So you take it and you can strike and uh, this will create flame. Uh, one thing you want to do is to clean off this black and get down to the metal and then you're able to go. It also has a small nut driver and bottle opener right here. We have a small Grimlock. These are excellent little carabiners. And uh, you just push down, locks it in. You can put this on your gear. You can attach this to a number of things. We have a small handsaw with two rings. Uh, great to put sticks through here to be able to use it back and forth. And guys, you can do a lot of cutting with these. It's really amazing. Now, speaking of fire, uh, this is something unusual you don't see. Uh, and this is a small little blowpipe to give oxygen to a small fire to get it started. And so this is a great little tool. Uh, like I say, I don't see these in many survival kits, but to me, it just makes a lot of sense. And it just telescopes in and out, makes it really simple. And you can use it in this small form, but to get your face away from the fire, you can extend it way out. Or if you have a fire down in between limbs, you can extend it out to get to it. Here we have a survival whistle. It is in gold, and this is great for signaling. Or if you're in danger and you want to warn someone, you can start blowing this. Next, we have a multi-purpose pocket survival tool. This is in stainless steel. There's a number of different options you can use for this, and it has them listed right here. Uh, but you can see we have a small sawtooth. This can be used as a wrench. You can use it as a bottle opener. There's a small knife on the edge. Uh, you have a screwdriver. There is a ruler right here. Uh, this is even a sundial. I mean, there's a number of different things, and of course, you have your small list. You can just keep with it. Then you can tuck it away in this little compartment. And we've already shown the case opener, but again, this is a small little screwdriver, and you have a flat where you can really turn it, and you have a small little carabiner. 
And last but not least, there's a small little bottle carrier. I think this is a pretty neat addition. Uh, you can open this up and you can attach this to your belt or to whatever, Molly gear. And then we have a little Fastex buckle. You can open it, put it around a bottle top. Of course, this would normally be water bottle. <laughs> and you can attach this and you can carry it right on your belt. When you want to drink your water, just clip it, drink it, pop it right back on. I think that is really cool. And we have the first aid kit. Comes in this really nice little pouch, zippered pouch. And of course, it's identified right across the front. First, we have two of the absorbent gauze. We have five band-aids. We have a pair of tweezers. We have a, tr a triangular bandage. We have some cotton Q-tips or swabs. We have two iodine prep pads, two alcohol prep pads. We have a little bit of tape, medical tape, a pair of scissors. And we have a little roll of bandage gauze. And we have a small latex tourniquet. And there are 10 small safety pins that are included. Now this runs $40.99 on the Roaring Fire website. Uh, and you're getting a lot of gear that you can use for survival. Guys, you need to have some gear put back in case you ever get into a serious situation. You got yourself covered.